Hi friends, Valeria here from Chase and Paper and today we are going to make fabric paper. What is fabric paper? Well, fabric paper is a unique mixed media material that combines the best of both worlds, <laughs> paper and fabric. Would you like to see how I made this paper? Let's roll! Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to cover our surface with some plastic to protect your table or your counter and next I am going to bring in a piece of cheesecloth and I am using this Mod Podge I already put some Mod Podge in a dish so it's going to be easier for me to work with and I actually want to make sure that it's uh, a little thinner so I'm going to thin it out with water just a little splash of water and I'm going to mix it up. If you don't have Mod Podge, it is totally fine to use um, Elmer's school glue and dilute it with water or basically any PVA glue. So next we are going to get our papers. This is one of the vintage sewing patterns from my collection. I always try to pick them up whenever I find them at the estate sales and thrift shops. I'll be very honest, I usually buy them because of the beautiful pictures on the front and I usually fussy cut the ladies out and use them in my collages. And I always wind up with tons of unused paper. So this is a perfect project for this tissue paper. All right, so here's what you will find inside of a typical sewing pattern. This one happens to be cut already into sections, so which is fine. Now this is the thin tissue paper is what we want to work with. Usually instructions come printed on like a thicker paper. We want to put that aside and use maybe in a different project. like nice torn edges so I'm going to tear it in all different sizes and they are going to overlap so that's fine you don't have to be um, worrying about tearing certain shapes or certain size pieces Alright, so now I'm going to start covering my cheesecloth with glue, with my Mod Podge. And because Mod Podge dries rather quickly, I'm going to work in sections. So I'm going to start with about hmm, one third to half of my um, cheesecloth. Alright, starting to cover it with glue. And this is why we needed to cover our table, because Look at this, the glue is seeping through the cheesecloth and it would make a very messy um, project to clean up if we didn't cover our surface first. All right, I'm making sure to cover it nicely and generously. And so at this point, I covered about half of my sheet and I am going to start placing tissue right on top of it before my glue is starting to dry. I like to crumple it up before I place it because wrinkles really create nice effects and add to the whole appeal there. So place a piece down and I help it stick with a layer with a layer of glue.
All right. And now I'm covering all of that with a layer of Mod Podge. And now I'm going to continue and cover this side. All right. And getting the tissue. cover that with another layer of Mod Podge. Right, I'm just checking to make sure that I have my entire piece of cheesecloth covered with at least one layer of tissue. And as I'm finding some spots, some bold spots here, I'm covering them up. All right, and now we are moving on to the next fun part of the project, which is adding beautiful second layer to our collage, and we are going to use napkins. So I have uh, lots of beautiful napkins, and I'm so excited about the chance to finally work with them. So first thing we are going to do is remove the plies. This is probably a three-ply napkin, the easiest way to do it is to use just your regular scotch tape and stick it in the center and pull. And there you are, you just separated your napkin. Let's see, let's make sure there might be another ply here. I believe there is. I'm doing the same thing. Again, I'm sticking a piece of scotch tape to the back and lift. And yes, I feel that it's separating. Perfect. There. And now I am going to um, tear it so I can add it to my collage. The easiest way to do this is to um, just use a regular small paintbrush and a little bit of water, and you're going to sort of draw around the part that you want to take, uh, that you want to tear from your napkin, like that. And this way you can tear right on that painted line. Nice. So now I'm going to place the napkin pieces exactly where I want them in my project. And then I'm going to cover them with another layer of Mod Podge. Add in a layer of Mod Podge to have the tissue really stay flat.
now I'm bringing in another tissue. This one has this beautiful angels on it. And so I feel like it's going to really add to the whole beautiful um, feel of the collage we're working on. Now this white plies from the napkin, make sure to hold on to them, do not throw them out because there are lots of different projects you could use this with. For example, check out one of my previous videos on how to make handmade paper without a blender. I'm using a lot of this tissue part, so that's another fun project you can do. There. All right, as you can see that some napkins are starting to tear, but that's okay. I feel it just adds to the whole vintage look. So I'm perfectly fine with that. And now I'm going to use one more napkin with this pretty birds and more flowers. All right, so I'm just adding a um, couple of pieces of tissue and then I'm going to just leave it alone and let it dry and then I'll come back and we'll check the results. All right, and I am back. The paper is nice and dry. I did put it outside and it's very hot and sunny today. And so I left it outside um, for about 45 minutes. So now let's go ahead and cut the edges to make it a nice even rectangle. So I hope you can see it cuts really easily. there now if your paper dried kind of warped you can certainly go ahead and iron it now if you're gonna iron it make sure to flip it over this way and cover the back with some cotton muslin like a pillowcase or a sheet and maybe even spray it with a with water from a sprayer bottle and then just go ahead and run a hot iron over it but i'm leaving it just as it is right now and yes we can absolutely stamp and paint on this paper let me show you all right i'm going to put some foam packaging underneath. I'm going to use Stay Zone ink. This is the kind of ink that goes on any surface, including glossy surfaces. And it's going to work perfect here because our regular inks will smudge. the bird maybe we'll add some words here and there all right I'm going to add the word beautiful right here there we are and if you are wondering you absolutely can paint on this paper you can use your acrylics Right here, I'm going to use this acrylic paint in deep bronze. And I'm going to go ahead and just dab some shiny metallic accents here and there. And so here we are, folks. 
um, the paint is almost dry. Here is our fabric paper. So it's not quite fabric and it's not quite paper. It, it has a very, very unique texture. Here is what the back looks like. Right, so you can see the cheesecloth. This is very flexible. It folds nicely. It has a beautiful texture. Perfect for your mixed media projects and junk journals. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more fresh paper crafting ideas. And of course, I always love to hear from you. So go ahead and leave a comment. Maybe let me know if you're going to give this paper a try or maybe you already tried this project and have some good tips for us. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.